Okay, tomorrow we're going to um, put some sheep in the freezer. So step one is to pick out which one of these yearlings, or which two, I think I need to do two, are going to be the ones that are going to be going into the freezer. Well, since we're going to be um, taking care of everything right here, there's my little single tree. Um, I need to get this area cleaned up, bleached, um, get all all my stuff together so that um, there's less of a hassle and just go really quick. All right, I cleaned up this old um, piece of stainless steel. Um, this is a part of a crab cleaning line from a place I worked in Alaska when I was a kid. Um, when they tore the place down, I scavenged it because I knew it would come in handy for something. So here it is down here in the state of Jefferson being used for processing all sorts of stuff, chickens, lamb, beets, potatoes. I mean, everything gets washed out here. Steelhead, king salmon. So anyway, it's been washed down, um, soap and water, and then hit with a 20% bleach solution let set for a little while and then re-rinsed. Um, all the knives and gear, the saw, uh, has all been uh, sharpened and sanitized and everything is ready to go. I've got a cooler of ice sitting in the house. I'm going to bring out here to put stuff in when I get to that point. But now i got to go bring my young man out here and uh, do the next step. Okay, these two won the lottery. And um, I caught them last night and put them in a stall here in the barn. And they've been in here with lots of water and are able to uh, get themselves all flushed out. And um, next step is to get one of them in a halter and walk it out to the, to the killing zone, I guess is the best way to call it. Okay, here he is. I've got him... Uh, Okay, we get him up on this little contraption here. It's a ladder, two heavy pipes, sawers, and he straddles it so he's not hurt. He's held in places where he doesn't have any pressure points or pain. He gets calm. He's calm now. And he has when we do the deed. Okay, a little bit gruesome, but um, one slice through the jugular, and then I lay him down on the ground and let him bleed out and he dies very quietly, no fighting, no kicking, um, basically a calm death. Okay, I've got him tied to the spreader bar, and that goes down to my car. I'm going to lift him up now. He's up, and uh, I usually hose him off to get any dirt and mud off so that it uh, lessens the chance of uh, contaminating the meat when I'm skinning. So he's been washed down and I got to get the air hose out here. I put a little hold in in a hawk and I fill him with air to loosen the skin and then it makes it a lot easier to pull, pull the skin off. That's my air compressor running in the background but this is what they look like when they're full of air. It really does pull the skin away from the flesh and makes this a much easier operation to do next, but see how, how chubby he looks. That's all extra air in his uh, extremities. Ten minutes later, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm not the best of Skinner, so I kind of make a lot of boo-boos, but um, gosh, these guys are, because they're hair shaped, they're harder for keeping the hair off than even taking a moose. Um, but uh, anyway, so I got that off and now he gets to be 
have the entrails taken out. I got his front half off and that's in the cooler now. This is a real nice looking lamb. Anyway, I got a lot of work still. Got to quarter up this half and cut off some, uh, well I think we'll probably have the liver for dinner tonight. That's what mom wants. So anyway, back to it before the flies get too thick. Got the uh, back quarters. Um, this is one. It's a pretty good sized critter here. Um, here's the shank. Uh, and here's the upper leg, which will be a beautiful leg of lamb roast. It is huge. And look at these. These are just gorgeous. I'm going to have a lot of nice chops out of here. Anyway, I better get going. It's getting warm out here.